Hello, I am presenting Catfish in the South Delta, Investigations into Species Interactions. The authors include myself, Laura Rudolph, as well as Kevin Kumagai and Veronica Wonderleg. This presentation will be given at the 2015 AFS Annual Meeting in Portland, Oregon on August 18, 2015 at 11.40 a.m. in the Oregon Convention Center, room A105. The site location for this project takes place at the Clifton Court Four Bay in Tracy, California. The Clifton Court Four Bay is located east of San Francisco in California. The Clifton Court Four Bay itself is a man-made water storage reservoir. And two important things to note about the Clifton Court Four Bay include the radial gates located at Area 1, as well as the intake canal located in Area 2. The radial gates open, allowing water to enter the Clifton Court Four Bay, where it's then transported through the intake canal to different locations in California. When the radial gates open, fish are able to enter or exit the Clifton Court Four Bay. And the only other means of exiting the Four Bay is the Delta Skinner Fish Protective Facility. This facility serves to salvage smaller fish, where they are then identified and counted after being identified and counted, are then transported to different locations in the Delta. There is a second collection facility located below the Clifton Court Four Bay. This facility is called the Central Valley Project Collection Facility. Here they also salvage, collect, count, and identify smaller fish that enter the facility. And the last thing to note on this map are the nine hydrophone sites that were deployed for the Clifton Court Four Bay predation study. These nine hydrophone sites include three at the intake canal, two at the radial gates, one at the Old River South location, and three along West Canal. These hydrophones detect acoustically tagged fish that enter or exit, swim around the Clifton Court Four Bay. So overall today, I wanted to look at how catfish behavior influences native fish species, specifically threatened or endangered Pacific salmonids. North American catfish were introduced to the Sacramento San Joaquin Delta in 1874 as a sport fish. They're generally considered omnivorous, dependent on environment. So specifically, I wanted to look at how catfish behave in this environment and whether or not they actively seek prey within the Clifton Court Four Bay. One way we can answer this question is through advanced technology such as acoustic tags and acoustic tag software, where we are able to observe catfish movement through graphic displays and provide snapshots of their behavior, which can tell us more about migration and feeding behavior in the South Delta. My primary example today will be one acoustically tagged catfish that was caught in area three of the Clip to Court Four Bay. This catfish was caught with hook and line sampling methods as well as bait. The catfish was tagged with a combination acoustic tag with an integrated pit tag. There was also an external floy tag placed on the catfish for quick visual identification in case of recapture. This is an Eon Fusion display showing the over the 88 days of detections by the catfish in the Clifton Court Four Bay and surrounding hydrophones where the catfish was detected over this amount of time. So overall, the catfish was present at eight out of the nine Clifton Court Four Bay hydrophone sites. As well as incorporating fish detections, we are also able to simultaneously display data from the State Water Project Salvage Facility, as well as the Central Valley Project Salvage Facility. So on the top left graph, you see the number of fish caught over this 88 days of detections from the State Water Project, and below that is the water temperature from that facility. And on the top right, you see the Central Valley Project sum of count over these 88 days as well, and below that, the water temperature from that facility. This is the first detection of the catfish that was present at the radial gates downstream location on the same day it was released with an acoustic tag. At this time, we don't see very much salvage data from the facilities, but it's important to note that the temperature was recorded as above 65 degrees. After being detected at the radial gates downstream location, the catfish was detected at the intake canal um, and was 
so therefore had to cross the Cliff and Port Four Bay, which is about a two mile swim. We see a slight increase in fish salvaged at the State Water Project salvage facility, but it isn't too significant. However, we can kind of begin guessing whether or not this catfish could have potentially been motivated by whatever fish were salvaged at this facility. After being detected at the intake canal, the catfish then travels back to the radial gates downstream location and then is detected at the radial gates upstream location. This is the first documentation of a tagged catfish exiting the Clifton Court forebay. And after exiting the forebay, the catfish then travels north and is detected along our West Canal sites. After being detected at the West Canal sites, the catfish is then present at our Old River South location, which is our farthest south hydrofoam location outside of the Clifton Court Forebay. And at this time, we can see that temperatures have increased to above 80 at one point at the State Water Project Salvage Facility. And at the Central Valley Project Salvage Facility, temperatures are above 75 degrees. And this is the last detection that we have of catfish 8119.01 before it exits the Clifton Court Four Bay detection range for a few days. And while the catfish is out of the hydrophone detection range, we see this huge spike in threadfin shad that was collected at the Central Valley Project salvage facility. This is significant because threadfin shad are considered a favorite food for game fish, such as catfish. And we know that threadfin shad entered the Sacramento Delta in 1962 from upstream reservoirs where they were stocked to support sport fish such as catfish and they're quite abundant in the South Delta. So it's highly likely that this catfish traveled south following prey such as threadfin shad towards this facility at this time, which helps prove that this catfish could have been highly motivated by prey and is exhibiting predatory-like behavior. And after this increase in shad, we see that the catfish has traveled back into the Clifton Court Four Bay detection zone. It's present at the Old River South location, as well as the Radial Gates upstream location. And temperature has decreased slightly. We're now high 70s, but it's gone down slightly. And after being present at the Radial Gates upstream location, it travels again north up through West Canal, where it then travels back again to the Radial Gates upstream location and into the Clifton Court Four Bay. And at this time, we can see from the State Water Project salvage facility that there is another slight spike in fish salvaged at this time. And by looking at the identification data, we can see that it was a spike in threadfin shad as well as bluegill. So it's highly likely that the catfish then, again at this time, was following another school of fish back into the Clifton Port Four Bay. So overall, by incorporating these other factors such as salvage data and temperature, we can learn a lot more about what is motivating this catfish as well as potentially other fish to be moving to certain areas. It allows us to create a more complete picture of catfish movements and what could possibly be driving this catfish to different areas of the Clifton Court Four Bay Array. So overall, acoustic tags as well as Eon Fusion software allows us to make these timelines and snapshots of this catfish. And I think it's really helpful in understanding more about catfish behavior as well as what could potentially motivate this behavior, allowing us to put the pieces of the puzzle together and incorporate not only movement, but as well as motivation for this catfish behavior. Thank you to the Department of Water Resources for allowing us to use this data and allowing us to present this at AFS Portland. Any questions? <laughs>